Allahu Akbar. There is so much we could utter about this because that is the root of shaitan's plan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us conscious of shaitan's plan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that shaitan, there are some people who worship shaitan. They are satanists and the Quran speaks about them. They worship the devil in every single way. And the father of Ibrahim alayhi salam was one of them. Azar. He used to make idols and sell them. He used to promote the evil of the highest form which is shirk. So the little child in Surah Maryam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ibrahim alayhi salam went to his father and says, Ya abati la ta'budi shaytan. Oh my father, do not worship the devil. Do not worship shaytan. Oh my father, don't worship shaytan. Who is telling who? The child correcting the father. We spoke about it a few days back. Inna shaytan kana lirrahmani asiyya. Definitely. Ibrahim is telling his own father, Oh my father, Shaitan was definitely a sinner and he definitely transgressed against the most merciful. Imagine for the most merciful to kick someone out of his mercy. It is not something minor. If Allah who is the most merciful decided that Shaitan and Iblis is kicked out of his mercy, he has to have committed a huge sin and a huge crime. May Allah never ever kick us out of His mercy. How would we be kicked out of Allah's mercy? By worshipping shaitan. By following shaitan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us. Listen to what Ibrahim alayhi salam continues to say. Ya abati inni akhafu an rahman فَتَكُونَ لِلشَّيْطَانِ وَلِيَّا Oh my father, I am fearing that punishment from the most merciful might overtake you and you will become a protector and a friend of, of the devil himself. So those who promote the devil, it is a form of punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who don't realize the plan of shaitan, it's a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us every form of goodness. That is why in the Quran Allah says, make a dua that Allah protect you from shaitan. Oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, oh my Rabb, protect me from the whispers of the devil. Imagine, if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had to make that dua, what about us? We need to make it more on a regular basis. One whole surah is revealed, protection from the devil, both types of devils. Those from man, those from jinn. We know Surah An-Nas at the end, go and read it, go and check its meaning. We are asking protection from the devil, from the whispers of the devil, that whisper in the hearts of mankind. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stressing the point of man and how evil man can become. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all protection. This is why Allah says, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًّا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِّ يُوحِي بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَىٰ بَعْضٍ زُخْرُفَ الْقَوْلِ غُرُورًا Allah says, this is how for every prophet we have kept enemies and shayateen and devils from mankind and then from jinkind. Why is mankind mentioned before jinkind in the Qur'an? When it comes to the devils, some of the Mufassirin say because the, the, the devils from man are far more dangerous. Because they come to you in the form of a human with a smile on their faces and yet they are promoting vice and they are convincing you, they talk to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So Allah says, they beautify the speech out of deception in order to come and lure people to do the evil that they are engaged in. That is why when we are reading Quran, it is important we say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells this to us in Surah Al-Nahl. فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ So when you, want, when you would like to read the Qur'an, the word of Allah, before you start, seek protection. In Allah from shaitan, the condemned. Because you don't want to read the Qur'an and then have a warped understanding of the Qur'an. Some people will read a verse in order to look for a loophole. And believe me, if the mind is warped, they will be misunderstanding the Qur'an in totality. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about water. 
and the fact that water, fresh water has the quality to protect us from the devil. Look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us regarding one of the battles that took place. It rained. And when it rained, this is what Allah says in Surah Al-Anfal. وَيُنَزِّلُ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَا أَلْيُطَهِّرَكُمْ بِهِ وَيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمْ رِجَزَ الشَّيْطَانِ Allah sent down rain in order to purify you and to take away the dirt of shaitan from you. Some of the Mufassireen have gone as far as saying, Wudu does the same thing for you. If you keep yourself in the condition of wudu as much as you can, inshallah, you will be protected from the devil. This is why in the morning, the devil comes and massage you. Don't get up for fajr. When you succeed to fight the devil in the cold, and you get up, the minute you turn the tap on, when the water comes into your hand, and you now put it on your face, the laziness is gone. It's gone totally. Wallahi, that's a guarantee. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us purity. Allah says, water has the capacity to purify you from the devil. That is why a Muslim must be making wudu five times a day. Wash their faces, wash their hands, wash their feet to protect ourselves from the devil. Why do you think Allah says, Salah will protect you from evil and immorality, when evil and immorality is the first thing that shaitan calls towards. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. I was telling you that the devil tells you to do bad. And after that, he runs away. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Zukhruf. The example of the devil who tells man to disbelieve. Then when man disbelieves, then shaitan says, I am definitely free from you. I don't know anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shaitan says, look, it wasn't me, it was you. you the one who did it. And this is why on the day of Qiyamah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Shaitan says, on the day of Qiyamah, he says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدَ الْحَقِّ وَوَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ Allah promised you a true promise. I just gave you a little promise. And so then you broke Allah's promise and you came to me. I had no control over you. So don't come to me. I can't avert the punishment from myself nor from yourself. Today it's your day. It was you to blame, not me. Look at how shaitan does to us. And sometimes people do that to us. They encourage us to do something and then they go away and they watch the fireworks. May Allah protect us. We don't want that to happen to us really. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us every form of protection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever follows the devil, I will fill Jahannam with them as well as the devil. I will fill Jahannam and hellfire with the devil and anyone who followed him. Allah is telling that to the devil. That you and all those who follow you, you deserve the same punishment because the two of you were cronies all in one basket. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the devil. Really, it is something serious. We need to look into our lives how the devil comes to us. Sometimes it's just a thought of pride or a thought that someone else is a bad person. That thought itself is already the first clutch of shaitan to us. No matter how much salah we are reading, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still protect us from the devil. In every single way and grant us inshallah every form of goodness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa Thank you so much for listening to this short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.